Welcome to another Arkansas Wild Man Survival. I just realized I've been filming this for 30 minutes and <laughs> didn't even have the thing on. Uh, I was just saying, be thankful for your freedoms here. Though many disappear each and every day, this holiday is brought to you by men with the guns. Against tax station and tyranny, sound familiar? But uh, I'm thankful that we can still worship God and bear arms to protect our family and our rights. And oh, this nation's messed up. It's still the greatest nation on the earth. Having a fish fry over here. Got some spicy fries. Got a big deal of hush puppies. Catfish. More catfish. More catfish. We got some Dr. Thunder, Doc, that Dr. Thunder. We got Mountain Lightning, and we got uh, Dr. Thunder Cherry. Of course, my seasonings, I'm using Cajun seasoning, Old Bay, some uh, Red, Frank's Red Hot Original, and Himalayan Pink Soap. Everybody's running late today. I got a late start though. Get the hush puppies over here, get ready for them. sitting here 30 minutes talking to a camera that wouldn't even on. Uh, had a pretty good sermon going too. Oh me. The thrills are getting old and forgetful. You know, God gave us the ultimate independence when he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins so that we wouldn't perish but have, our, have everlasting life. And I'm just saying, if, you, if you're stressed, you know, we live in stressful times. The best thing you can do is come out to a quiet place where it be a park if you're in the city or a lake, or just into the mountains, and spend time with your Creator. And the two most important things in this world is your family and God, God first. I hope y'all's enjoying y'all's 4th of July and uh, y'all have a safe happy day with loved ones you know spend time with them now because one day God's going to want them back my sister's supposed to come my brother couldn't come because he's working a double shift Me and my 
wife and my son and uh, my uncle, who's supposed to come. He was supposed to bring my aunt from the nursing home, but I don't know what happened there. But anyway, it's nice and peaceful. I come early to do some cooking. And, uh, my wife's doing the corn on the cob at the house. She's bringing in. I'm doing the fries, hush puppies, catfish out here. You know, every day should be Thanksgiving. We got something to be thankful for, even though we have many troubles. Many problems. You know, it's somebody else that's in a whole lot worse shape than what we are. And we should just take time each day to enjoy life with our loved ones. Because like I said, one day God's going to call them home. And what's most important is that you tell them about Jesus because there will be a great homecoming day one day when we go see our loved ones that's passed on long before us. This, this place here, it's just temporal. But her soul is eternal. And one day we're going either going to spend it in heaven or we're going to spend it in hell. You know, they, they like to divide us. Just like the movie Ants. Grasshopper says, there's just one puny ant stood up against us. But the main grasshopper said, yeah, but if you let one puny ant stand up to us, then the rest of them will think they can stand up to us. You see, we outnumber them millions to one. And if we ever realize that, if we can ever come together united, we'd be a great nation under God again. But as long as we're distracted by this, the right, the left, he did this, he did that, and we keep fussing and arguing with ourselves, nothing will ever change. Make sure I got that on. <laughs> I hear somebody coming. There's the fries. Now to work on the hush puppies. My wife brought the corn over. I got some hush puppies going. My wife, uh, my sister's supposed to bring some coleslaw and tartar sauce. Don't they look like some good hush puppies going on right there? I 
here's a little bit of fish it's done God bless you, and as always, thanks for watching Arkansas Wildman Survival. Y'all have a happy and safe voyage.